what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? A Canadian woman dubbed the cocaine babe has been sentenced to a maximum of eight years in prison for smuggling suitcases, suitcases of drugs into Australia. Melina Roberg, 24 years old, was arrested in 2016 after Australian Border Force authorities raided Sea Princess, a luxury cruise ship, while it was docked in Sydney and discovered suitcases filled with cocaine in her possession. On Wednesday, Roberg cried as NSW District Court Judge Kate Trail sentenced her to eight years in jail for drug trafficking. Roberts will be eligible for parole in May 2021 after taking into account the time she has already served. During her trial, Roberts claimed that the cruise was part of her rewards for smuggling drugs that were part of a $21 million plot. She said that she took part in the scheme so that she could gain more Instagram followers and to promote her lifestyle that she was portraying on social media. $21 million. That's a lot of cocaine. That translates into a lot of money. Y'all think the cartel going to let that slide? I ain't never been in a part of the cartel. Never really had to deal with the cartel, but from everything that I know about the cartel, that's not something that they take lightly. Her time in prison is probably going to be very, very difficult. If she makes it through. And eight years seem very meager for that type of crime for $21 million for an operation that big. She had to tell on somebody to get that kind of time. Gonna be tough, man. Y'all know if she was a man, she definitely would've got a lot more time. I'm thinking her looks had something to do with it. And then we're not gonna even get into how her looks are gonna come into play while she's in prison. Woo! She's gonna get 100% likes in prison. Can you imagine what those Instagram posts going to look like when she get out? In fact, she ain't even got to get out. You know, they got Instagram in prison. <laughs> you got dudes be posting Instagram pictures while they're doing time. You know, the saddest part about all of this, and I know that she could be lying out of her teeth. You know, she could be lying through her teeth. But Let's just for a moment assume that the tears were genuine and that what she said, the reason she gave was genuine. You and I both know that that is a very plausible reason because that happens a lot in society today. It's a very, very sad realization that is so many people in her age group that finds their self-worth relative to post on social media. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?